Hello everybody, my name is Pedro Ramos and I'll be getting you started on the flute. Today we'll be going over the parts of the instrument, assembling the instrument, hand position, and of course making our first sounds on the flute. Now, please stick to the end of the video and I hope you enjoy. Now we're going to open up the case together. Proper due diligence with our instrument begins with opening up the case nice and carefully. When you open up the latches, you're going to make sure that they are going upwards. If they are not going upwards and pointing downwards, you risk dropping your instrument when you open up the case. Now that your case is opened, you will notice that your flute is divided into three parts. This part right here is called the head joint. The small section right here is called the lower joint. And this big section right here with all the keys is called the body. You will also have a place for your swap. A useful tip for when you're putting your flute away, you will notice that all the keys are facing the middle of the case. Before we assemble our flute, we are going to make a quick sound just using the head joint. And paying attention to the head joint, this is the crown. This is the end of the tubing that connects to the body of the flute. This is the lid plate. This is the embouchure hole. And further paying attention to the lid plate, you'll notice that one side of the lid plate has a larger opening than the other. We'll be placing our lips on the side of the lid plate with the larger opening. Now, with the head joint and the embouchure hole pointing straight to the ceiling, try making a sound on your own. It can be a little tricky, and if it's taking a couple of tries, don't feel discouraged. There are always some resources to help you create a more consistent sound. For example, it took me quite a lot of times, but when I looked at a mirror, I was able to make some small adjustments moving my head joint left and right. And while paying attention to my sound, I was able to determine what was the best place for me to create a nice sound just using the head joint. Now that we experimented just making a sound on the head joint, I would like to give you some embouchure tips so we can hopefully create a more consistent sound. First off, a lot of flute players like to think of saying the word poo. I know it might sound silly, but try saying the word poo and gently releasing some air. Another great way is thinking about blowing a really hot soup. Additionally, when forming a flute embouchure, we want to really avoid smiling. And you want to utilize the bottom corners, your bottom corners of your mouth to kind of create a little bit of a frown. And of course, we want to make sure that our lips are very, very relaxed and not tense. Assembling the flute is rather simple. Let's start with the body and the lower joint. Anytime we assemble the flute, we want to make sure that we are not applying a lot of pressure onto the keys. Doing so will risk bending the keys and damaging your instrument. If you pay attention to the body, you'll see that there is one side of the body that is full of keys and there is one side of the body that is not. We want to take advantage of the side of the body that is not full of keys by placing our grip there. And we will go ahead and attach the lower joint onto the body. And anytime you're attaching any part of the flute together, you want to do a gentle twisting motion. So let's go ahead and do that with the head joint by attaching it to the body. Awesome. Now our flute is put together. However, we are not quite done because we want to make sure that our flute is properly aligned. When we think about aligning the lower joint to the body, we want to pay attention to this rod that is located in the lower joint. And this rod is going to be pointing in the middle of these keys on the body. Again, this rod right here is pointing to the middle of the keys on the body. When we think about 
aligning the head joint to the body, we want to align the embouchure hole to the keys of the body. A great way of doing that is looking straight down your flute and quickly, or not quickly, but aligning the embouchure hole to the keys. One last thing, you want to make sure that your head joint is not pushed all the way into the instrument because if it is, you're going to be playing really sharp. So you just want to gently twist it out just a little bit. And now your flute is properly assembled. Let's go ahead and discuss hand positions on the flute. And we're going to start on our right hand. With your right pinky, you're going to place it on this C-sharp key right here, and you're going to see three keys directly on top of it. And simply, you're just going to put your ring, your middle, and your index finger on it. And that's your right hand. With your left hand, your thumb is going to be in charge of these keys on the back of the flute. Your pinky is going to be on this key that jets out a little bit. And then, like the right hand, one, two. This time, you're going to skip this key right here, three. And that's how you hold the flute. Now that we more or less have a consistent sound just using the head joint and that our flute is assembled, we can start learning some notes on the flute. I think the easiest note to figure on the flute is C-sharp, because C-sharp just uses the pinky on the right hand. And C-sharp should sound like this. Now that we have C-sharp learned, if you just press down the first finger or your index finger on your left hand, you will get C. Now try alternating between C and C-sharp. Playing on the flute is different than just playing on the head joint. And if you feel like you're having a hard time making a sound on the flute, I recommend going back to the basics, taking out the head joint and just making a sound. But now that your flute is assembled, it's always a really good idea to look in front of a mirror and play with the position of the angle of your flute, as well as the position of your torso and the position of your head. Additionally, playing with a downward stream can be important with playing the flute. And a really good tip that my friend told me is that, well, when you place the flute in playing position, you'll notice that your left elbow is jetting out a little bit. And it'd be a little bit of a good idea to blow it to that elbow. Additionally, I'd also like to talk about tonguing. So when we tongue on the flute, um, most of us like to think about tonguing where our top teeth meet our gum. And lastly, about aperture size. If your aperture is a little bit too big, um, your sound will be a little airy. So again, think about utilizing those bottom corners and really creating a funnel inside of your mouth to create a smaller aperture and a more, more precise sound. Thank you so much for watching and for letting me be a part of the first steps of your flute journey. The flute is such a wonderful instrument. It can play in so many genres and there are so many wonderful performers out there really testing the limits of this instrument. So thank you and good luck.